Yeah. How do you want me coming in? Doesn't matter. So the idea that we're talking about here is put that knife away for a sec. Okay. My little elbow style here, what's worked for me about it is this. I recommend throw a couple punches as well, right? But what, if I if I can do this and just put it up and let him run into it, it's, it's not that tough, right? Even if he starts flowing on me. See, see I'm striking. And so what's a strike and what's defense? They're, they're really interchangeable, right? See? So that, see, that's defensive. But see where I am? I can go straight in from here if he throws that other punch. I can strike it and strike here, strike this one. But if I use my elbows, he tends to be punching with smaller bones into my forearms and my elbows. See, and I, I can just direct this stuff at him a lot. You get where your timing's pretty good on him. It's not too hard to do. Because he's the one doing most of the work. I'm just trying to line things up. See, and I'm not doing this, but when he throws it, I might squat a little to catch it, right? But now wait, from, see, from right here, I can just step in and I'm starting to launch this elbow and I'm maintaining stickiness to know where his hand is. Because if he tries to slip out and go low, I can just go here. See, and I'm cutting off this other line by throwing this other elbow immediately because I know that one's coming. So if he gives me a one, two, boom, boom, it really doesn't matter. And I'm still using the short levers to attack. Attack here, here, come in, right? So now, here's another thing that's good about this habit. We've talked about this a lot. Pull a knife. The guy just does a quick slash. A lot of guys go, whoa. Well, artery veins, right, on the fleshy part. If you're gonna take the cut, wouldn't you rather take it on the bone? And it's safer too. So if you're training, just throwing this stuff out, okay, I just took that cut, right. Well, that's a lot better than I took this cut. Yeah. So now he starts coming in with a knife. So training this stuff for empty hand is, you know, I'm still in a, do using better hand tactics or hand strategy, using my forearms and elbows. And that becomes more what I'm used to doing. So that way they're interchangeable. You know, I don't have like you're putting that thing. I don't I don't have like pun and tukin or whatever for he starts boxing and I'm doing this kind of stuff and I'm doing these flowing punches, which are great, but then when he pulls out a knife, now I have to switch and go, oh but I can't do that because I'm exposing my arteries and so now I have to try to switch to my system with the elbows. Okay, it, it's why not just try to have one general overall strategy in essence that you mainly train you know, for defensive purposes, right? So, there again, that knife comes. See, and this is the two second brush. It gives me this whole surface from here to here to try to make contact with this knife on, right? Whereas a lot of styles I've learned, they're doing they're doing this kind of stuff. Well, guys with good sensitivity knife, so as soon as they touch, right, see? Or, or they'll pull back across the hand. Pull and ah, right? So, and if I'm gonna take cuts, I'd rather take them on that, see? on that bone and on that outer side of my forearm and try to stay away from, from the arteries and stuff, right? That makes sense, right? 